Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool video tutorial. This tutorial is going to teach you how to use the Ohm's Law Wheel. Now, we assume that you already know how to obtain voltage, amps, resistance, and watts. If not, go ahead and uh, go watch the video tutorial on those. Once you have those, come back over here and we'll teach you how to, what to do with that information. Now, those of you who have a super cool slide wheel, go ahead and get it out. Turn it over. We're going to be working in the upper left-hand corner of the super cool slide rule. Now, if you don't have a super cool slide rule, it's okay, you can, we'll still walk you through this tutorial and you'll learn how to use the Ohm's Law Wheel. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to, to obtain watts. We, our known values are going to be voltage and resistance. Our resistance is 10 ohms, our voltage is 120 volts. So to start off with, we take 120 volts, we multiply that, we, we square that, which is 120 times 120. That will uh, give us a product of 14,400. We then divide that by our resistance of 10. We come up with 1,440 watts. Now, if we wanted to convert those watts into amps, we could then come to this side of Ohm's Law. Our, no, our known values are now watts, which are 1,440. Voltage, which is 120, take 1440, divide it by 120, and we have our answer here in amps. This concludes our video tutorial on using Ohm's Law. Now, if you do not have a super cool slide rule, log on to our website and get one. This is the coolest tool you'll ever own for in the air conditioning industry. It allows you to charge a system with R22 or 410A in subcooling or superheat. It has everything we can possibly think of. It has a system operating diagnostic. It has capacitors, laws, and practices. It has uh, parallel and series circuits, how to, how to calculate those. It has heat strip guide, troubleshooting compressors, troubleshooting TXVs, every formula we can possibly think of. Inside, it has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal duct to insulation line metal duct. This is imperative. You must have this. There's not another one out there that I've ever seen. Um, this is the only one that you we've ever seen that does it. It has direct reading uh, round vinyl flex duct, round vinyl flex duct versus round metal duct. So you can calculate anything you can possibly want to do with a duct calculator. It's here. Um, you want to test for correct system airflow through an air conditioning system or a heating system that's on here, pressure drops. This tool will save you countless hours, frustration. Log on to the website, get it today, $19.99, best 20 bucks you'll ever spend. Um, thank you for watching our video tutorial. Uh, see you next time.